<laughs> I've watched it ten times. It's never not funny. Bert Kreischer's a fucking sad, drunk, fat slob. Could be leukemia, could be metabolic. Tom Segura's really turned into a piece of shit, hasn't he? <laughs> fucking rich asshole. I need to run more tests. <laughs> Looks like Brenda Schaub still hasn't been invited to the mothership. Sad. <laughs> Rogan obviously has no respect for him. <laughs> Doc, I think the drugs are starting to make him loopy. Hey. <sighs> Ric Flair never stood a chance on Kill Tony. This has nothing to do with the cancer, I'm afraid. I've been seeing this kind of thing more and more. Doc, do you mean his leukemia? No, the obsession with bad comedians. <laughs> There's this network of YouTube channels dedicated to criticizing these guys. You got uh, Too Lazy to Try, Patrick CC, um... Porcelain, Base Frequency... Even comedy enforcement does good work. <laughs> he talks into the camera a little too long, but despite <laughs> that, he still does great research. I gotta be honest, Doc, they sound like huge losers. Actually, they're all, uh, wildly successful. <laughs> <laughs> does Andrew Schultz know he's not black? <laughs> yeah, go make another joke for your band of hyenas, you fucking Nazi haircut wigger. His blood sugar's <laughs> dangerously high. Kalila Coon's a fucking sociopath. She's been using Bobby <laughs> Lee for years. You know, can't believe... Oh, shit! This happens on the day I got they my new hat. on the points! You know? Do, do you like the hat? You never mentioned oh the hat, buddy. Oh, my God! Boy, it looks like Matt Rife got some new lip. I thought, I thought I was going crazy. I thought I had the podcast cringe. Or I saw a two shy video in the background. I thought I could hear his voice. But they play, that's why he's listening. <laughs> ah. All right, well done, well done. Well done. Holy shit. I thought there was another tab playing. But it's actually the background of him playing that. That's fucking great. That's brilliant. Oops. <laughs> I guess he can suck dick better now. Stick to the crowd work, pretty boy. <laughs> Red bar's watching, Doc. Remember that. <laughs> You're on fools. Oh! Red Bar's gonna destroy him, man. Red Bar and Ben already have beef in it. Ben hates Red Bar. Ben hates the comedy, comedy commentary community of people. He probably thinks he's better than them. I don't know. Whatever. It's understandable. I get why he hates it. It's all lame. To be fair, if you make content online, you're immediately not cool. There is nothing cool about making content online, myself included. It's all lame, it's all dorky, but you just have to kind of embrace it and just like enjoy it. But I think, you know, Ben doesn't, you know, whatever. But him and, I think him and uh, Red Bar are going to have a, a tete a tete. It's going to be a good back and forth between them. I think so. I think Ben might take Yannis Papas' place. Yannis Papas has kind of gone in retreat. He's gone into hiding. I think Ben might take Yannis Papas' place. They're going to go, they're going to go have a war. It's going to be fun. No, this Protect our parks. How about protect my ears and turn that shit off? <laughs> Although the last three episodes have been pretty good. They seem to have hit a stride. Hey, Doc, by the way, real quick, what do you think of the hat? No, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't say Ben, big up your chair. I didn't say Ben hates two to try. I think Ben and Red Bar have beef. But I, the two to try thing, I didn't, um, I thought I was playing it, but it's them playing it. You look like fucking shit in that hat right now. What was that? You know what? What's that, buddy? I'm glad Theo Von cut Shab out of his life. <laughs> Could be a brain tumor. Again, we don't know until the CT scan comes back. Really? Yeah. I mean, look at him. Whatever it is, it's terminal. <laughs> Tom and Bert completely embarrassed themselves crashing the Pat McAfee show a few months ago. Yeah, I think, uh, I think he's been through enough, I've been through enough. Here, you can do the honors. I know he was your Discord buddy. He was a heckin' good mod. You guys are straight murderers, B. <laughs> I mean, they're having fun now, but just wait for the Austin bubble to burst. I heard on Joke World Rogan's expanding it into Vulcan. May have an Austin comedy festival too, which is just sad. <sighs> I gotta say, I was surprised by Stavi's <laughs> acting on tires. <laughs> and Gerby's fucking rules. Oh. Sorry, buddy. 
Don't but you me. suck ass. Hey, Doc. You got any nurses in here? I could take for a drug one. <laughs> God damn it. Just put him out of his fucking misery. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck Ben Avery. Fucking giggling retard. <laughs> I can't stand to see you look like this, man. Come on, let's fucking get this over with, gay hack guy. Shout out to the shaman. And shout out to the fucking dog. Yeah, so my guess is Brendan was always trying to talk. My inner red scare, my inner Anna and Dasha, my inner contrarian. Although that was okay, that was funny in parts, it's kind of maybe lamer than what they're commenting about or what they're kind of poking fun at. To make a skit about people who like comedy commentary videos and take the piss out of what they say and the narratives and stuff, is probably just as lame as the skit, if not more. And maybe it was a bit too long. And I couldn't help but think Ben Avery was amazing, amazing on Tim Dillon. Ben Avery, I felt the moment he left Tim Dillon, that as much as I love Tim Dillon, he's my guy. I listen to his podcast all the time. I'm subscribed to his fucking Patreon. I love him. It's not the same. I don't mind Ray Kump, but Ray Kump don't has, doesn't have shit on Ben Avery. Ben Avery on Tim Dillon's show was, a med was incredible. But to leave the Tim Dillon show, to do that. But, but, if you had to tell me, what would I rather hear? Comedians talk about Donald Trump Republicans, Democrats, policies, Israel, Gaza, or comedians making like skits and recording them themselves, funding them themselves, producing them themselves, putting up on the YouTube and just having fun with it and trying to make some things, you know, different than sitting down and talking into a microphone. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take 100 of these skits over comedians sitting in front of microphones talking. I swear. If you're not going to give me jokes, I'm going to take skits. I'm going to take little produced bits you put together. Little, you know, whatever. All day long. Even if they're a little bit corny, a little bit lame, I'm going to take that all day long. Because some of these guys, when they start lecturing us about the world and about society, boom. If I was being critical, I prob you probably could have cut that. Cut that down to two minutes. Half the time. And, yeah, you know I mean, and that would have been good. But maybe it was on purpose. But, um... Some of, the, some of the inside jokes there were really good. Like, you, you can tell these guys are plugged in. They're plugged in. They're plugged in. They're plugged in. Clyde is a social. Yo, do you remember that? Honestly, I swear to God, I lost some people on this channel. That time that whole thing was going on. When everyone had a hate boner about Kalila and were trying to make out that she was some big evil mastermind. I was like, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't see what you guys are seeing here. Like, a couple broke up. Like, it's not that big of a deal. These guys are making it seem like Kalila was like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, she was fucking, um, what's that guy's name again? Don King or something. Do you know what I mean? Bobby Lee was Tyson and Kalila was Don King. She was taking all his fucking money. And it was like, uh, I don't think that's the case. I really don't think it's as deep as that. So I'm glad they included that bit in there. But yeah. Um, it was good. I would give it, because I want to encourage this and I want to put out this type of energy, I'm going to give it an eight. Even though I think it was like a six and a seven. I would much rather see comedians do this more. It's actually surprising why they don't, to be fair. Maybe because this is harder and takes more time and maybe takes more effort and money. But I'm surprised more comedians don't just film like 
little comedy. They all, they always complain about oh, there's not enough good com com comedy movies. Bro, you got a camera? F film something. Film a little skit. Film something. Film a little, you know, a little put put together a little trailer or something. Mix it up. The fans will love it. So yeah, big up Lemon Party still. Big up Lemon Party still. <laughs> Have you got any nurses that I can walk to my drugs? Fair play, fair play, fair play. Fair play, 